It began as a whisper, a tiny spacecraft launched from our small blue world in 1977. Its name was Voyager 1. Its mission was grand. It was designed to visit the giants of our solar system, Jupiter-Saturn. It would fly by these massive worlds, take pictures, gather data. It was our robotic ambassador, a scout, sent to explore the cosmic neighborhood. But Voyager 1 was always destined for more. It carried a special passenger, a golden record. This record holds the sounds and images of Earth. It's a message in a bottle, cast into the vast, dark ocean of space. It's our hello to any civilization that might find it, millions of years from now. Voyager 1 did its job perfectly. It showed us the swirling storms of Jupiter, a planet so large it could swallow all others. It revealed the intricate, beautiful rings of Saturn, a celestial jewel hanging in the blackness. The images it sent back were stunning. They filled our textbooks and inspired a new generation of dreamers and explorers. After its tour of the gas giants, Voyager 1 just kept going. It flew past the orbits of Uranus and Neptune. It headed for the boundary of our solar system, the place where the sun's influence finally fades. We all watched for decades as this little machine traveled farther and farther away from home, a silent testament to human curiosity. In 2012, something amazing happened. Voyager 1 crossed a boundary called the Heliopause. It officially entered interstellar space. That's the space between the stars. For the first time in history, a human-made object was sailing through the cosmic sea that separates star systems. It was a monumental achievement, a triumph of science and engineering. Voyager 1 became our first true interstellar traveler. It was reporting back on the conditions in this strange new territory. It was tasting the wind that blows between the stars. It was our only direct line to the universe beyond our comfortable solar system, a tiny, lonely voice in the cosmic wilderness. For years, its journey continued in a straight line, deeper into the void. Then the unthinkable happened. It started with a puzzle, a series of data points that made no sense. For months, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory were scratching their heads. The information coming back from Voyager 1, now more than 15 billion miles away, was... weird. The spacecraft's orientation sensors were sending back gibberish. It seemed confused about which way it was pointing. At first, the team thought it was just old age. After all, the spacecraft is nearly 50 years old. Its systems are ancient by today's standards. They thought a component was finally failing after decades of braving the harsh environment of space. But the anomaly persisted. It wasn't random noise. There was a pattern. The flight team ran countless simulations. They checked and rechecked their code. They looked for any possible explanation within the spacecraft itself. Was a thruster stuck? Was the computer malfunctioning? Every test came back negative. The spacecraft seemed to be operating as expected, yet the data it was sending about its direction and the space around it was completely illogical. The breakthrough came on a Tuesday morning, right here on September 9, 2025. A young astrophysicist on the Voyager team had a wild idea. What if the data wasn't wrong? What if the spacecraft was telling the truth? What if Voyager 1 wasn't flying in a straight line anymore? The team recalibrated their models, this time with a radical assumption that the spacecraft had actually changed its trajectory. When they plugged in the new numbers, the data suddenly snapped into focus. Everything made sense. The orientation readings, the cosmic ray measurements, the magnetic field data, it all aligned perfectly. The conclusion was inescapable, and it sent a shockwave through the entire scientific community. Voyager 1, our steadfast interstellar explorer, had made a U-turn. So what could possibly turn a spacecraft around in the middle of supposedly empty space? The answer is as profound as it is shocking. Voyager 1 didn't just turn around on its own. It was pushed. As the spacecraft began its slow, unexpected arc, its instruments started detecting something extraordinary. It was a region of space where the density of particles increased dramatically, not just by a little bit, but by a factor of thousands. It was like sailing on a calm lake and suddenly hitting a wall of thick, invisible jelly. This region wasn't on any of our cosmic maps. It was a complete surprise. Scientists are calling it the interstellar wall. Scientists are calling it the hydrogen front. It appears to be a vast, previously undetected structure made primarily of supercooled hydrogen atoms. Think of it like a cosmic weather front, but on a scale that is difficult to comprehend. This wall isn't solid, of course, but it's dense enough that the pressure it exerts on a small object like Voyager 1 over a long period is significant. As Voyager plowed into this denser medium, the drag was enough to slowly, inexorably alter its course. 
It's a bit like a tiny boat being turned by a powerful unseen ocean current. The universe just showed us it has structures far grander and more mysterious than we ever imagined. The most mind-boggling part of this discovery is the structure's sharpness. Voyager 1 went from the near-total vacuum of interstellar space to this incredibly dense region in a relatively short distance. The boundary is surprisingly well-defined. Why is it there? The leading theory is that we are looking at the edge of a massive ancient supernova remnant. Billions of years ago a giant star might have exploded sending out a shockwave of material. This wall could be the compressed shell of that explosion, a cosmic bubble that our solar system is now approaching. We never knew we were so close to such a monumental feature of our galaxy. This discovery forces us to rethink the very nature of interstellar space. We've always visualized it as a vast, uniform emptiness with stars sprinkled throughout like dust, but this finding suggests it's much more complex. As if a giant invisible wall in space wasn't enough, Voyager 1 had another surprise for us. While it was being pushed by this incredible structure, its instruments recorded something else. Something that, at first, seemed impossible. The plasma wave instrument designed to measure the vibrations of charged particles in space picked up a strange repeating signal. It wasn't a natural sound whistles of planetary magnetospheres, chirps of planetary magnetospheres. This signal was structured, it was complex, it almost sounded artificial. A pattern of pulses embedded within the cosmic noise. The science team worked feverishly to decode this signal. They filtered out all the known natural sources of interference. They accounted for the spacecraft's own electronic noise. What was left was a clear, unambiguous pattern. It was a complex sequence of mathematical information, the speed of light, the Planck constant, the charge of an electron. It was like a cosmic calling card, a message that said, we understand the universe just like you do. The implications are staggering. This was not random noise, this was a signal, a message. Where did this signal come from? It appeared to be emanating from the interstellar wall itself. The leading hypothesis is as fantastic as it sounds. The signal isn't being broadcast at us. The dense hydrogen front acts like a colossal natural amplifier. The moment the news broke, the world stopped. It wasn't a gradual leak, it was a global announcement from NASA broadcast live from Washington, D.C. The headline was simple, stark, and utterly world-changing. Voyager 1 changes course detects possible extraterrestrial signal. For a few hours everything else fell away. Political conflicts, economic worries, daily squabbles, they all seemed trivial. On every continent, in every city, people were glued to their screens. News anchors, usually so composed, spoke with a sense of awe and disbelief. The story was on every homepage, every channel, in every language. The planet was united by a single, breathtaking question. Are we alone? The public reaction was not one of fear, but of overwhelming wonder. It was a collective gasp of astonishment. People gathered in public squares, Times Square in New York, Shibuya Crossing in Tokyo, looking up at the sky as if they could somehow see Voyager 1 with their own eyes. Social media exploded with a torrent of excitement, speculation, and pure joy. The hashtags Voyager U-Turn and the signal were trending globally for days. It was a moment of shared humanity. We were all Earthlings together facing a new and profound reality. The discovery didn't divide us, it brought us together in a way that few events in history ever have. Spiritual leaders, philosophical leaders, their messages echoing a common theme, humility. This discovery was a powerful reminder of our small place in a vast, mysterious universe. It challenged long-held beliefs but also opened the door to a more expansive view of creation and existence. For the scientific community, the news of Voyager 1's U-turn and the detected signal was like an earthquake. It shook the very foundations of astrophysics and cosmology. At first there was deep skepticism. It's the hallmark of good science. Every other possibility had to be exhausted before accepting such an extraordinary claim. Could it be an unknown natural phenomenon that mimics an intelligent signal? Could there be a flaw in the plasma wave instrument that we never knew about? International teams began independently verifying NASA's data. ESA, Roscosmos, other space agencies. The world's most powerful radio telescopes were pointed toward Voyager's distant location. The verification process was intense. For weeks the data was scrutinized, debated, analyzed, but the conclusion remained the same. The data was solid. Voyager 1 had indeed changed course due to a massive, dense structure. It had recorded a structured, complex signal. That signal did not appear to be natural. Skepticism melted away replaced by giddy, electrifying excitement. 
Scientists likened it to the reaction to gravitational waves. Conferences were hastily organized. Scientific papers flooded journals and preprint servers. The entire field of astrophysics was being rewritten in real time. The discovery of the interstellar wall was Nobel worthy. It opened a new field, interstellar cartography. For decades SETI had been fringe, hopeful with little to show. Overnight it became the central scientific question. The signal from Voyager's location is the first tangible piece of evidence, not a blurry photo, not a dubious claim, hard data, recorded by our trusted instrument. This monumental discovery has completely reshaped our vision for the future of space exploration. For decades our plans have been linear, go to the moon, then Mars, then maybe the outer planets. Interstellar travel was seen as a distant dream, something for future centuries. But the Voyager 1 discovery has lit a fire under humanity's collective ambition. The question is no longer just where can we go, but what can we find? The existence of the interstellar wall and the mysterious signal within it has given us a destination. A tangible, tantalizing target just beyond the edge of our own solar system. Governments and private space companies around the world are already scrambling to respond. A new space race has begun, but this time it's not about planting flags. It's a race for knowledge. There are now urgent plans being drafted for a new generation of interstellar probes. These probes will be faster, smarter and more powerful than Voyager. They will be designed specifically to study the interstellar wall. Their mission will be to map its boundaries, to understand its composition, and most importantly, to get a clearer reading of the signal embedded within it. We need to get closer. We need better instruments. We need to know more. The technological challenges are immense but the motivation is now overwhelming. We need new propulsion systems, perhaps fusion rockets or laser-pushed solar sails, to shorten the journey from decades to years. We need AI-powered spacecraft that can make decisions on their own, without waiting hours for commands from Earth. We need instruments far more sensitive than Voyager's 1970s-era technology. This challenge will drive innovation in every field, from materials science to artificial intelligence to energy production. The quest to understand the signal will spur a technological revolution on Earth, much like the Apollo program did in the 20th century. Furthermore, this changes how we see our own solar system. If such a massive structure exists just outside our heliosphere, what other surprises are lurking nearby? What does this all mean for us? For humanity, huddled together on this fragile planet? It means that we are part of a story far grander and more ancient than we ever knew. For centuries we have looked to the stars and wondered. The Voyager discovery has turned wonder into a conversation. We are no longer just asking questions into the darkness, we have received a faint, tantalizing echo. This knowledge changes how we see everything, it reframes our place in the universe. We are not an isolated accident, we are participants in a cosmic drama unfolding for billions of years. The human spirit is defined by relentless curiosity and an unquenchable thirst for exploration. We climbed the mountains because they were there. We crossed the oceans to find what was on the other side, we went to the moon to prove we could. Voyager 1's journey is the ultimate expression of that spirit. It has lasted for half a century, powered by a tiny plutonium battery and an immeasurable amount of human ingenuity. That our most distant outpost made this discovery feels poetic. This is not an ending. This is a new beginning. The discovery of the interstellar wall and its embedded signal is not the answer to our biggest question, but the first clue in the greatest detective story of all time. It's a challenge, an invitation from the cosmos. It invites us to be bolder, to dream bigger, to work together for the next steps. The universe is not cold, dead or empty. It is dynamic, surprising, and filled with a richness we're only beginning to comprehend. The future of humanity may not be on Earth, but among the stars, seeking answers we don't yet know how to ask. Next time you look up, remember Voyager 1, remember the little spacecraft that could, a symbol of our potential. A reminder that even the smallest, most distant voice can change the world. The journey is far from over. In fact, it has just begun. The universe has whispered back to us, and we have a solemn duty to listen, to explore and to understand. That is our purpose. That is our cosmic destiny. Let's get to work.